Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be featuring an aircraft by Pacific Aerospace of New Zealand. We're going to be taking a look at their PAC P750 x stole which seems to be a perfect aircraft for many operations, whether it's skydiving, freight or cargo, aerial surveying, agriculture, and even a passenger service. Currently, this aircraft is most commonly found in areas that have remote bush airstrips with very short runways, like in Papua New Guinea. Let's get started. This aircraft has such incredible performance that it required a class of its own. Many of us are way too familiar with stole aircraft, but this aircraft has extremely short takeoff and landing capabilities, and that's how the X-Stole class of aircraft was made. This is the world's first production X-Stole aircraft. X-Stole literally means that the aircraft has the ability to take off and land in less than 800 feet or 244 meters while carrying a load greater than its own empty weight. As a pilot myself, looking at these numbers are extremely impressive. We are always taught that an aircraft may not perform as well as it's described in a pilot operating handbook or POH, yet this aircraft has proven itself over and over again. Density altitude plays a huge role in the performance of an aircraft and it's most prevalent at high altitudes or high temperatures. Yet, even in those scenarios, the aircraft can still meet the x parameters. Let's watch this short clip of this plane in action. It lands and stops in just 164 feet. It then goes into reverse, starts its takeoff roll, and is in the air again in no time. The takeoff took only 104 feet of runway. Now in this video, the aircraft had a configuration that includes the cargo pod and had a takeoff weight of 4,200 pounds. Height is 4 meters, 28.34 square meters of wing area. How's that for <laughs> Now I know, you're probably thinking that it's such a small aircraft and it likely cannot carry many passengers. While you wouldn't be wrong in thinking that, when compared to other aircraft flying into the airstrips that this plane can operate from, this aircraft wins big. It all comes back to that x stole capability. Most competitors of this aircraft would need to sacrifice payload in order to continue operating. That would require those aircraft to make multiple trips for the same goal, which could take a lot of time and money. But our PAC P750 x stole aircraft would still be able to carry more payload to get the job done. In its passenger configuration, it can hold up to 10 passengers. In its skydiving configuration, it can carry up to 17 skydivers. Another cool feature of this plane is the ability to do quick changes of configurations. Due to its quick change modular floor system, the flight deck of this aircraft features traditional round gauges partnered with a Garmin 430 or 530 avionics suite. Now, let's get into the technical specifications of this aircraft. It's powered by a Pratt & Whitney Canada PT6A-34 turboprop engine that produces 750 shaft horsepower. That's partnered with a standard three-blade heart cell propeller or an optional four-bladed propeller. Now we move on to weight and balance. The basic empty weight of this aircraft is 3,600 pounds, 
or 1,633 kilograms. The maximum ramp weight is 7,540 pounds or 3,420 kilograms. The maximum takeoff weight is 7,500 pounds or 3,402 kilograms. The maximum landing weight is 7,125 pounds or 3,232 kilograms. The maximum useful load is 3,900 pounds or 1,769 kilograms. Let's move on to speeds. It has a cruising speed of 140 knots or 259 kilometers an hour. It has a stall speed of 58 knots or 107 kilometers an hour. It has a true airspeed at 10,000 feet of 167 knots or 309 kilometers an hour. Now on to range. It has a maximum range at its optimum speed with no wind and no reserves at 15,000 feet of 1,172 nautical miles or 2,183 kilometers. Its maximum range with an auxiliary fuel tank included which adds another 102 U.S. gallons or 387 liters of usable fuel of 1,400 nautical miles or 2,593 kilometers. Its regular usable fuel capacity is 330 U.S. gallons or 1,256 liters. It has an average fuel consumption with optimum cruise settings of 49 US gallons an hour or 184 liters an hour. It can fly for eight hours on its standard fuel tank with no reserves or 10 hours with its auxiliary fuel tank. Now let's move on to altitudes and climb performance. It has a maximum operating altitude of 20,000 feet or 6,096 meters. It has a service ceiling at maximum weight of 25,000 feet or 7,620 meters. The approvals are still pending for those certifications, but it has been demonstrated up to 32,000 feet. The maximum rate of climb at sea level and at maximum takeoff weight is 1,067 feet per minute or 325 meters per minute. It has a maximum rate of climb at 8,000 feet of 951 feet per minute or 290 meters per minute. For a climb up to 12,000 feet from the moment the brakes release for the takeoff roll, that would take 14 minutes. So that concludes this video on the PAC P750 Extol aircraft. What do you think about this aircraft? Have you seen one or even better flown on one before? Leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to get notifications whenever I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.